What's up guys, Trey here with Speed Shield, bringing you guys another walkthrough Wednesday. And it actually, it's actually Wednesday this time, so <laughs> you guys will be proud of us. Uh, Alright, so on this Escalade, we are changing it from the factory gloss pearl white to what you see on that door there. And this is a satin frozen vanilla. Really cool color. It's, it's one of the newer colors, so we like to keep clients in a fresh, cool color. There you go, you kind of see that pearl. It's, a, it's got some cool gold metallic in it, and it is slightly iridescent, so in some angles it changes colors. So that's gonna be really cool. It's a nice bright color. They also have a black Escalade that we're gonna wrap next week with a satin clear bra and some really cool uh, satin carbon fiber clear bra as well. So we've got this sucker all prepped and Tyler's over here putting the film on it as we speak. Giving his meticulous touch to everything, making sure it looks as rad as the Speed Shield Legacy requires. He is the Speed Shield Legacy. <laughs> Isn't that right, Tyler? Yeah. You've been here a long time. <laughs> All right, and moving on to this F8. This is getting a full body gloss clear bra. She takes it on a lot of road rallies and does a lot of fun stuff with her cars as she did with her previous ones. So we're gonna get this thing completely protected, stem to stern. It's also getting a windshield protection film. So it'll be extremely protected because we all know if you're out there on the highway behind other cars with high performance tires, they're sticky and they are throwing tons of projectiles backwards at you. And even your own vehicle, when that front tire kicks up rocks, it's just destroying the entire side of your vehicle. Same with these rears. So that's why it's wise to have protection in a lot of different places. This Mustang GT came in for wheel caliper paint. So we painted the calipers and now we are detailing the car. There we, there we go. Nice dark gloss red. That red matches those stripes right there. So now that the calipers look so clean, we're cleaning up the rest of the vehicle, giving it a full detail, exterior and interior. We're about to vacuum it out on the inside, wipe it all down, make it look spick and span. So that'll be going out here soon. Extremely clean. Speaking of extremely clean, this kick-ass GT4 is gonna hit the racetrack soon, but now it is extremely clean and it has a full front clear bra that includes full hood, full fenders, mirror caps, headlights, fog lights if you have them, and full bumper. And as you guys know, hand trimmed goodness is our forte. So therefore, let me give you a little close up. So as you can see, or as you can't see, there are no edges on this sucker. It's edge wrapped, it's expertly trimmed. All the edges, all the cutouts are extremely meticulously trimmed to give a really comprehensive coverage and a seamless appearance. As you guys probably know, we take our job extremely seriously. The reason we started Speed Shield was to offer a high quality that was extremely difficult to find in this industry. It seems like everybody wants to get into this industry and just put garbage on people's cars. It's not about just hanging out with kick-ass cars all day. It's about delivering a quality service. And that's where we tend to shine. No pun intended, but uh, that's what we do. Hand-trimmed goodness. It's a dying art. And that's why people come to us. That's what our forte is. This GT4 also got the full rocker panels covered. 
So from here all the way back, all the way around, all the way around and even up in this little nook right there, all of it's covered with clear bra. We also did a kind of a door edge style on this little scoop. That's what the customer wanted. We do offer full panel coverage of that piece as well with hand trimmed around the GT4. And many times if the if the if the recess is shallow enough, we can conform the clear bra into zones, but those edges are slightly sharp. So we would hand trim around that usually. This GT4 also got a rear splash package. I'll show you where that goes. So this panel all the way around here. Let's see, I think we ended it right here before this first sensor. There you go. We also offer full rear bumpers, but this is a pretty economical part right here to cover. It goes all the way up under here, so it's gonna protect all those rocks slinging from that back tire. That's a must if you have a track car or even if you're going on the highway around here. And let's admit it, we're in Texas, we have to go on the highway everywhere because everything's like 30 to 45 minutes away. So rear splash is almost a must. With any clear bra, you'll always find a reason you're glad you had it. I have never had a customer that told me, man, I'm so sorry that I invested in clear bra never once but we always see customers that come to us and say man i wish i had clear bra and you know what i'm going to show you a couple things that we wish had clear bra a lot of people think oh you know what the gt4 also got a roof and a pillar package and why you might ask roof and a pillar we'll check this mustang out look at all the rock chips on this roof. Any rock that's hitting your windshield is also hitting your roof. It's not like your roof has a force field and things just skip over it. Those rocks are also hitting your windshield. They're also hitting the tops of your hoods. So that's why full panel coverage is so popular these days because a partial front clear bra that, that comes up to here leaves everything else exposed. So it's good to have coverage. Let me show you this clear bra package on the GT4 up on the A-pillars. So A-pillars are wrapped around this edge to protect that very front edge. Focus, there we go. So they're wrapped on this front edge, goes all the way up, all the way up here. And you can see that this client wanted just a partial. We could do full roofs and full pillars all the way back, but this is a pretty good coverage right here. So that's gonna protect this frontal impact zone. I'll kind of show you that, there you go. So if you're looking from here, that's a really critical impact zone. And going over here, I'll show you some other vehicles that really need clear bra. Um, this little Mustang got a full body paint correction a few weeks ago. And so now it's extremely, extremely glossy. We are installing a trunk rack on this thing right now. We got that thing in the, in the, in the mail and it, it's, it's kind of a rare part. It took a long time to get it. Um, a lot of the parts to older vehicles take a long time to get, so we got it. We are installing it, so it's going to be complete now. This X5 got a full front clear bra, and we're also doing powder coating to the wheels. I'm going to powder coat them satin black, and they are right there, ready to rock. So we'll be putting those wheels back on there soon, and it's coming back in a few weeks to completely black out or chrome delete all of this silver trim here. And you see a bunch of silver trim on it back here. So we're gonna completely delete all of that chrome. 
And speaking of paint corrections earlier, this Model S is getting a really extensive paint correction. Let me show you guys some panels. We'll actually put together a full video of this thing by itself, just because it's gonna be an insane transformation. But check out the swore marks on this. It really needs some TLC. There you go, now you can see them. Really needs some loving. And that's what Marshall's doing, giving this thing some really intensive loving. He's loving the shit out of this thing, as we say. So right now he's been uh, compounding and polishing a test panel. So we like to do a test panel and then have the client come over and approve the level. And this is a panel right here that I believe he's been working on. Oh yeah, look at the difference. So that is uncorrected right there. Moving up to the corrected part. Just so much difference. Obviously this thing has been peppered with rock chips for a while. So it'll need a little bit of touch up paint most likely to make that look good. Some of this is compound dust, but most of it is just been peppered with rocks. And you can see all those swirl marks from here. So we're gonna buff this baby out, make it look gorgeous. And we also did, let me show you something else that we did on this thing. It had a lot of wear and tear on the seats. And so we reupholstered these front lower panels of the seats, as well as these side bolsters right here, that whole panel right there, or the multi panels. So now it's really, really nice looking. And we replaced that. It was originally real leather, which wears out pretty quickly. So we put ultra leather, just like on all the brand new Teslas that come factory with ultra leather, which is so much more resilient. Ultra leather is so much better than real leather. And it's what Tesla calls their vegan option. So anyway, that's what we got going on today in the shop. Hope you guys find some value in that. As always, bring us your ideas about what you wanna do with your car. Um, we're always welcoming to people to come over. We just like to spread knowledge and let you decide what's right for you. Have fun out there. Stay protected. Speed shield.